Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and in this video I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you a nice tool that uh, you might want to use and also I'm going to explain some confusion over a previous video that I made uh, that uh, covers how to uh, give your battery, your Bebop battery, a balanced charge. So this may be a little confusing but uh, we'll see what we can do to, to keep it straight. First of all, this is the charger that comes with your Bebop uh, battery or uh, yeah your battery charger uh, that comes this came with my uh, Parrot Bebop FPV 2 Parrot Bebop 2 FPV um, and uh, that's the one with the goggles and uh, and it's black and white um, and, it, and it's the same kind of a charger that comes with the Parrot Bebop 2 with the uh, Sky Controller 1 the Sky Controller 2 is made to uh, to use with the with the goggles, and actually they both have their advantages. But the chargers that come charge your battery without putting a balanced charge, and this battery right here has three cells in it, and the cells need to be charged evenly. Well, um, in in a previous video I showed how I kind of ruined this battery because I was using the charger that came with the with the quadcopter and uh, I actually got started getting that flashing red light and I made a video about that too but anyway uh, so in those videos then it, it created a little bit of confusion because the charger for the um, uh, uh, Parrot Bebop 2 with the Sky Controller 1 is a little different than the charger for the Parrot Bebop Two with the Sky Controller 2. That caused some confusion, so I want to get that straightened out. And I'll put a, a, a graphic here in the video that you can take a look at. And uh, this compares the uh, cable that comes with each each uh, charger. And uh, so the one, and I didn't realize that they were different when I made my uh, uh, my video that showed how to how to make a balanced uh, charger and so then there was confusion because the uh, this here plugs into my get it here plugs into my charger like so okay but this does not fit uh, the the uh, sky controller one the sky, sky controller one requires somebody requires you to make uh, a little different put a different end on it so uh, in in this video I will I will help explain uh, you can make the same thing here this is at this point this is this would be what you would need for the sky controller one and there's little fine uh, uh, prongs set of prongs would be what you need for sky controller two and uh, and the, I have a video that shows you how to build this little thing right here. It's pretty easy to build this one because you can order this from Fry's Electronics. It's about three dollars and seventy-five cents or something like that, and uh, it make it would make it real easy. Well, um, anyway, so I got uh, some comments on it, and it got a little bit confusing. So uh, this video, I hope, explains the the difference. Okay, uh, so if you if you got a, a Sky Controller One, then you would order this, which uh, I'll have some graphics on here to show you uh, what to order and so forth. And in fact, I'll put it on the screen right now so you can see it. And uh, and it, you get it from Fry's Electronics, uh, and it it's uh, just it's under four dollars, and then shipping's a couple of dollars. But if you've got the Sky Controller Two, see if I can hang on to things here. If you got the Sky Controller 2, then you want to watch the video that I made on how to make this. I have not found, I've looked, but I have not found a, a commercial uh, prong that will fit these. These are actually, uh, they're, um, I think they're eight, an eighth of an inch apart, and they're um, about a .02 diameter wire that works on mine. All right, so, so that's the difference. With whichever one you are using, okay, this video then is for you. So let's take and put these things aside. And of course, in order to get a balanced charge, you have to get yourself 
a, um, a charger. This is a Venom, and uh, they're, they're not real expensive, but uh, I think they're under 100 bucks. And this one here uh, will give you a balanced charge, and you can set it up to discharge your battery or to, for storage, or just give you a balanced charge so you can go out and fly. So that's what, um, uh, that's what this, uh, it, this charger is what you need to get in order to make a balanced charge. But once you get the battery charged and uh, it's all ready to go and you go out and fly, and like this one, I flew it for a while and it's about 50% charged. And I want to know if I'm going to go out and fly today, how much of a charge is on here. So also on uh, YouTube, there are a lot of videos on how to use this guy right here. Um, and they come under all kinds of names, but the inside's the same. And this will tell you what the condition of your balanced or your battery is. And um, of course, you can't, in order to use this, you have to create one of these guys. So um, uh, this wouldn't be useful if you haven't done that. So let's take a look at how this works. First of all, we take our, our, um, well, let's see here. We got we don't need that charger. We need this guy here. Okay, so we take this and we hook it into our charger. There we go. So you can see it. And we took that. We take that and we hook this into our battery like that. So we got that all hooked together. And then if you take a close look at this, you'll see that there's a white dot there. That's the common. And uh, if you'll take a look, close look at this, there's little tabs on the top of it. And you want the tabs to be on the top when you put these all together. So the tabs are on top and you plug it in. And now it's going to tell us what the condition of the battery is. So we're looking at cell number one, as you can see there. Cell number one is at about 51%. And so uh, that's about half, half charged. We'll go to cell number two. And that's uh, 3.9 volts, and that's about 60%. As it, when I ruined my battery, uh, cell one and cell three got ruined. Uh, cell number two is still in pretty good shape. So now we'll go to cell number three. And it's uh, about 51, 50%. It's 3.85 volts. And I think if we wait here long enough, uh, it'll finally give us the total amount. But if we don't want to wait that long, we'll just hit the mode button. And you can see that we have about 11.6 volts here. It's about 50 to 51% charged totally. And 11.61 uh, is down about a volt from a full charge. So uh, if, you, if you want to balance your battery and want to know what it is, one of these uh, costs about $15 off of Amazon. And uh, once you get your balancing uh, charger and all that stuff, you might want to get one of these because they come in, come in handy uh, if you don't want to set up your charging and go through all that. So anyway, we'll, we'll just connect this. And I think I'll just connect that. And then <clears throat> I just remind you that if you've got the the uh, the Sky Controller 2, then you need to make you need to look at the video that I made on how to build this. And for Sky Controller 1, um, you don't have to follow everything on that video, but uh, get go to Fry's Electronics and get yourself uh, one of these plugs and um, make yourself a charger, a balanced charger, and then um, use this little guy right here to check your charge before you go out to fly. All right, so there you go. I hope this is helpful. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.